In this video, today I am going to talk about three main reasons people fail the driving test. Number one, simply not that they're not ready for the test. Okay. Um, how do you know you're ready for the test? Uh, make sure you have enough lessons and wait until your instructor tells you that you're ready for the test. Now, if you're not trusting your instructor or you're not sure that you, your instructor is uh, telling you that you're ready for the test or not and, and, and you're not believing, believing him, then I suggest to ask for the mock test. Tell your instructor that I want to do the mock test. And don't just do one mock test. Do three mock tests, I would say. Because sometimes you pass one mock test and then you think, yes, uh, I'm passing the test. Um, you feel super duper confident but that that just you pass the test just by part of luck just by fluke so i suggest take a three mock test and make sure you pass all three of them and then you assure yourself that yes i am ready for the test okay um most of the time when people fail the test this is what the reason i find that they simply not ready for the test okay and you heard that before that uh, proper preparation prevents the poor performance for like anything whether you're going for a job interview or anything you do if you prepare properly then i think less chances for a failure okay uh, especially nowadays the test that's not that available that easily so if you not prepare for the test and you go for the test then your chances of passing the test is very thin and you have to wait again six months for another date so in the long run you will be wasting more time and more money okay it, it, it's it's very easy to fail and very hard to pass okay um if you think you prepare for the test and uh you you've done your three mock tests you, you pass the mock test and then you're going for the test and you think oh i done whatever you told me i still fail the test now think you've done all these things and you still fail the test so imagine if you wouldn't have done these things okay so make sure you 100 percent ready for the test that's the main reason um the second reason now you prepare for everything um you're ready for the test and uh, still you're failing the test the, another reason it could be is you're very very nervous on the day okay most of the people again they fail the test because they're very very nervous on the day um what's the reason for the nervous ner nervousness so i would say there are so many reasons for it number one is uh, simply you're not feeling confident and again you're not confident uh, because you you probably not prepared for the test you you're not 100 percent ready for the test so if you're feeling confident that yes i can do this i will pass the test then you you shouldn't be feeling nervous so make sure you're confident for the test and the confidence the mock test will give you okay another uh, reason uh, for people f uh, feeling nervous is the monetary pressure so people think oh my god if i fail the test um, again i have to spend money again have to have a lesson again book the test so i i have to say for this is uh, whatever money you're spending just think it's not you spending you're not wasting the money think as an investment okay in the long run if this will you this once you pass your test you will get something in return okay so if you look at it as an investment perspective then you shouldn't feel bad about spending that much money now whoever driving on this road uh, before they got the driving license they must have spent a couple of grand anyway okay everybody has to do it so it's just your turn now you have to do it so don't feel too bad about it so you will feel less pressure on it okay another uh, reason for people feel nervous is a uh, social pressure so because your friends family knows that your test coming up you do you learning you're doing the test today so to keep them happy or you don't want to tell them that you failed the test that's pressure adds on on to you so i would say just keep it a little bit secret don't tell anybody that you have a test today uh, only you and your instructor should know or if you're uh, at workplace your em uh, employer should know and things like even if at workplace try not to tell too many people that way you will feel less pressure um, another pressure i would say people feel nervous nowadays is not finding another date okay because i know it's six months waiting and things but that's when if you prepare properly 
if you do your couple of mock tests if you don't do the mock test you will end up doing the mock test with the examiner and you will end up doing a couple of attempts there so instead of failing with the examiner you rather fail with your instructor okay so again that that pressure comes with the reason number one if you properly prepare then you shouldn't feel uh, pressure that oh I, i'm not going to get another date and uh finding another date is a pain in the butt but uh, look, it, it's, you are not the only one suffering at the moment. The whole country is suffering for that uh, waiting list. So uh, that's another. Uh, that's the reason you shouldn't feel too nervous about. So it's like you are not the only one. Okay. Uh, you still feeling so much nervous? Well, the remedy for for that is there are lots of uh, spray out there available. Uh, calming pills are there, so you can use that. But I would say that's more like a psychological uh, rather than um, actually does any uh, remedy to it. So uh, if you don't want to spend any money on those type of products, then I would say have a banana just before your test starting, just half an hour before or so, because banana has a potassium in it and uh, this potassium, it helps calming your nerves down. Okay, so that should do your job. Okay, so now you super ready for the test and you're not feeling nervous uh, so, and still you're feeling the test that's the third reason I would say is simply you are unlucky then okay there is nothing you can do about it okay because on any given day I would say anybody can fail the test because uh, people do make mistakes on the road even I am driving sometimes I also do make mistakes nobody's perfect okay as long as you're safe on the road that's fine but on the test sometime lots of factor matters how you feel on the day how are the road users behaving on the road and and so and so so if you're really unlucky now you did your best you did everything and, and purely you're unlucky then all i can say is just just have to do your test again okay okay thank you for watching the video